this is Buya and welcome to my second makeup tutorial and today I'm going to show you how I do my look but before that I just want to thank everyone who supported me in my first video tutorial and that is the soft glam plus glowing skin look it's in the description box below thank you to everyone who who viewed it who liked my video who shared it who subscribed to me and those who commented such sweet words thank you thank you very much and because of your support I'm really really stoked to make more videos and of course more quality yet affordable makeup because of that I bought new tools that we are gonna unpack in a while which I did earlier um, and that is what I used for this tutorial but anyway we will be unpacking the brushes I bought from Clover brushes in a while why are the dogs barking while I'm shooting and again thank you very much to those who And again, thank you, thank you very much for watching, liking, and commenting on my first video and even sharing it and subscribe to my channel. Thank you, thank you very much. So I already did my foundation and my brow routine. If you want to know how I do it, please do check out my first video. It's the Soft Glam Plus Glowing Skin Makeup Tutorial. Okay. So right now is the unpacking of the famous of my beloved clover brushes. Yes, 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 yes. Okay, so before I unpack this, I just want to tell you a little bit of this. I've been watching Michelle D's videos and I saw her brushes. It, it was really, really pretty and I really wanted one. I was pushed to buy this these brushes because of Sandra Deluxe. She's all about the fluffy brushes and this is what it looks like. Oops, that's my Snapchat. Okay, this is what it looks like. See, it's really pretty. Okay. It's also a perfect dupe for the MAC 217 brush. So the brushes cost me 1,600 pesos. So the brushes itself cost 1,450 plus the bank fee which is 50 pesos plus the shipping fee which is 100 because I'm in the Visayas and I need to pay more because I'm in the Visayas so I need to pay 100 so yeah so it's all in all for the Visayas people out there it's 1600 I'm gonna unpack it right now I can't believe this is happening and it's gonna be part of the familia unpack with you guys Okay, it's a tiny, oh, tiny scissors. <sighs> I can smell the glory of the brushes. Okay, right now I'm unpacking it in the bubble wrap. Here you go. Oh my gosh, it's inside. I'm a sucker for pink brushes. Look at my pink brush collections. And look at this! Oh my gosh! Oh my gosh! Um, my other brush brush set, I bought it from Brushes. Ah, Brushes for Less. I don't think they're active anymore. So I wanted to buy brushes from them, but they didn't seem active already. Oh my gosh! This is really is it! Oh my gosh! Oh my gosh! <laughs> It comes with a free powder brush. Okay. It's soft. Oh my gosh, it's soft. I thought, okay, so I thought this was gonna be um, a little hard. It looks hard. It looks, yeah, the bristles look hard in the pictures, but when, when you feel it, oh my gosh, it's so soft. It's soft, man, it's soft. You are part of the familia now. Enjoy. I am opening these. So I believe this is for the crease, for the precision. 
for a precise application in this area right here. This one too. I think this is the fluffy bl mini fluffy blending brush. Um, to be honest with you, I thought this is going to be a little bigger in real life. Because in the photos, it looked big. It looked big. Big. Oh, wow. Okay, so this is this is what I've been waiting for the most. It looks big in the pictures, but actually when you see it in real life, it's so small. It's so tiny. I don't get it. But I think this is going to be... You're going to be great. Even if you're small, you're, going, you're still going to be great. This is a bigger precision brush for people with, I believe, bigger eyes. Okay, so I think these are the pairs. The fluffy, the mini fluffy brushes and precision brush and the mini, uh, the bigger fluffy brush and the bigger precision brush. And once again, welcome to the Familia. I think, I believe this is for the lid. The lid coverage. This one, this is again the small one and this is I have them already. They're soft. Oh my gosh, they're soft. They're really, really soft. So, this one is... I need to familiarize with my, myself with the name of the brushes. Okay, I want to use this for the nose slide. I don't know what. This look... This also looks like a precision brush for the crease. Welcome to the Familia. And we also have angle brushes. And lastly, we have this um, bended brush. This has a name, I just can't remember. Gosh, I really wanted this brush and now I have it now. I'm stuck. So there you have it. My familia is now complete. Uh, so I now have my brushes from Brushes for, blah, 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 from brushes for Less. And I also now have my brushes from Clover Brushes. And they're all pink. And they're all inside my lens cup. Lens cup. My two passions in one. Now we're gonna start our makeup tutorial. Okay, so I'm starting off this session by bronzing and contouring my face with Smashbox Cosmetics. Contour Trio. You could get a contour trio like this from BYS Philippines at SM. I used to have one but then it broke into a thousand pieces because I am a clumsy dumpsy. So right now I am contouring my cheekbones this sides of my forehead to make an illusion that it is small. My time, I'm going in still with my Smashbox Contour Trio and I'm gonna warm up my crease with the bronzer using my fluffy big brush, my big fluffy brush. And now I am contouring my crease with a precision brush. For my lid area, I'm using Chi Chi Cosmetics Copper-ish Shadow. Why don't you have a name? All of my eyeshadow palettes do not have a name. I don't know why. I'm smoking the lower eye area with the brown and copper shade. I also added a black shadow as a definer on the outer corner and feathering it out. Back to my crease with a black, brown, and dark brown shadow, feathering it out to make my eyes look wider. Let's pop things up with a white shimmer and apply it on the inner corner, tear duct, and brow bone. Tight lining and water lining on cam is the worst. But I wanted to challenge myself 
therefore I did it and I poked my eye. I'm going in with my model's prefer pencil eyeliner. I apologize I kept going out of the frame because it was just killing me. I'm mapping a wing guide with Maybelline's gel eyeliner and filling it in with Fashion 21's liquid liner. I swear it's the best, you should get one, it's super long lasting. Since I want to make my eyes look whiter, I am extending my eyeliner on the outer corner of my eye up to my lower lash line. To be honest with you, Fashion 21 is an underrated brand here in the Philippines, but their products are actually great. So for those who want to learn makeup, you guys should check it out. The mascara I am using is by Rimmel, but this is really clumpy. I prefer you only use it on your upper lashes and not on the bottom part, which I did. I just smoked it out on my lower eye area. Smooth recovery, right? Besides the tight lining and water lining being hell, wearing lashes on cam tops everything. For my blush, I am using BYS Philippines Coral Me In and I am using this darker one since I am going for a dark look. I am overlining my lips with BYS Philippines Lip Liner in Mocha, my personal favorite to make it look bigger because hey, who wouldn't want Kylie Jenner's lips? I am filling in my lips with Wet n Wild's lipstick in mink brown. At the moment, my lips still look a little bit flat, so we're gonna pop it in a while. For the final touch, I am highlighting my lips just right at the center to push my lips forward. And we're done! This is the Fall of Brown's look by yours truly. Thank you very much for watching this video tutorial. If you like this video, please do give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. And if you have any comments or suggestions, please do comment it in the comment section below. Thank you, thank you very much and I hope to see you in my next video.